Welcome back. We just talked to um, Wolfgang on the phone, and he suggested that the talisman that once belonged to the Schattenjägers, which we now know means Shadowhunter, would be buried with Tetlow's remains, either here in New Orleans or at their African homeland, which is likely in the People's Republic of Benin. Well, since any uh, long-distance travel is going to be complicated as long as we're broke, I guess we should try looking close at home. And if you think about it, there's only really one place where the remains of uh, Tetlow could be bur buried in the tomb of the Geddes that we saw in the cemetery before. Of course, we couldn't get in there before, but maybe we can figure something out. It's worth checking, I suppose. However, um, we should not forget that this is a new day, therefore we can read the newspaper. Times Picayune, dated June 24. 1993. There's nothing about the voodoo murders case in the papers today. Gabriel finds a humorous tidbit under the Life is Stranger Than Fiction column. Apparently, there were reports of ghosts in the Bayou Saint Jean last night. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Various people called the newspaper with stories about hearing strange noises and seeing weird lights over the swamp. Some folks claim it's the ghost of Marie Laveau. The paper relates to similar delusions that crop up every Halloween. Gabriel's horoscope today reads, Wise is the warrior who knows when to fight, and when to get the hell out of dark. God help me, I'm actually starting to listen to this guy. Getting the hell out of Dodge, I suppose, means uh, going to Germany. But again, difficult without money. Also, because um, this is the uh, first and I think only day that you don't automatically drink coffee in the morning, we can do it ourselves. Doesn't give you points, but it does wake you up, I suppose. Mmm, good coffee. And with that taken care of, let's um, head out to the cemetery and see if we can find Tetlow's remains and that talisman. I'm going out for a bit. Be careful. Really, Toussaint, you've been raking that same spot for um, a week now. I think um, it's probably free of leaves by now. Our code is still on the wall, I suppose? Gabriel's coded message is on the wall. Yep. Well, no need to uh, change that. Have to wait until he leaves. Because apparently, making two people walk at the same time is too difficult for this game. Alright, let's inspect the Getty family tomb. Maybe we'll have another chance encounter with Malia. Or not. But it does look like the plate is open and there's a button underneath. How convenient. The plate is up. Beneath the plate is a button. That's what I just said. Who could have left that up? Does that mean there's somebody inside at the moment? Kind of suspicious. Well, nothing to do but uh, open it, I suppose. You will hear the faint sound of breaking glass. Faint? 
That wasn't faint. Damn. You'd think there'd be a light. You'd think, but apparently not. Fortunately, we picked up a flashlight from our bedroom in the beginning of the game. So it's finally time to put that to use. There we go! Now we can see. And the flashlight doesn't automatically follow your mouse, unlike the binoculars, for example. You need to click to move it around. Let's see, we have drawers on the back wall, which contain the uh, corpses. I suppose skeletons by now. And on the floor is some broken glass. What we just heard, I suppose. There's broken glass on the floor. Well, where could that have come from? Aha! I think we spotted the source. Someone's broken the light in here. No wonder it's so dark. So somebody was in here, and they broke the light when they heard us enter. But if they were in here, where did they go? I mean, this place doesn't look like it has more than one exit. What's over here? I guess that's the exit. It's a lit button. Okay, well she doesn't say so, but it is the exit. Let's take a look at these drawers. See if any of them contain the remains of Tesselo. Crypt drawers line the back wall. Gabriel can make out the name on that drawers plaque. Hmm. Well, let's open it. Well, he's been dead for a while. Or she, I don't know. The drawers' interiors contain mostly dust and bones. And is also obviously la lacking in talismans. The black on the drawer has a name etched on it. Jacqueline Gede. Why Gabriel can read the plaques when the drawers are open and not when they're closed is a complete mystery to me. Also, apparently it's a she. Well, let's check out the other drawers then. Hopefully one of them is what we're looking for. Nope, nothing here. The black on the drawer has a name etched on it. Zelia Gede. Zelia? What kind of name is Zelia? I suppose it must be a real name, but I've never heard it before. Nothing here either. The black on the drawer has a name etched on it. Helena Gede. That's a more normal name, I guess. More nothing. The black on the drawer has a name etched on it. Ariane Gede. Ariana? Like the European rocket. But still nothing, unless you like collecting bones of dead people, I suppose. Which, you know, is not really my hobby. This plaque looks kind of different. That drawer is marked with a pattern like the Veve. Hmm. Could that be the one? Let's see. Mosley. What? Shit. I dropped my flashlight. Huh? What the hell's going on? Sometime later. Ouch. My head. What the hell was that? Good question. Somebody knocked us out. And more to the point, Mosley is dead. I did not see that coming. Well, I did because I know the game, but the first time I played it, I did not see that coming. Let's see. He's gone! Mosley's body is gone. So... Someone else was in here, presumably the same person who broke the light. They must have been hiding somewhere, but where? And then when we discovered Mosley's body, 
they knocked us out and dragged the body out of here. Good thing they didn't kill us or whatever. Or took the flashlight for that matter. I guess they didn't want us to find Mosley's body, but all well, too late for that. He left his wallet behind by the looks of it. There's a wallet in the drawer. It must have fallen from Mosley's jacket when the body was moved. I guess so. We'd better take that. Where could this other guy have been hiding? I don't see any hiding places. The only place it could have been, I suppose, is a drawer. Another drawer. But, uh, hold on, maybe there's another empty one. We'll see. Besides, let's check the rest of them to see if maybe the talisman is in any of them, since it wasn't in the middle drawer. Not this one. The block on the drawer has a name etched on it. Rosamond Gede. Hmm. I'm starting to spot a pattern here. The block on the drawer has a name etched on it. Cecilia Gede. Yep. Have you seen it too? These are all women's names. It seems that only the female descendants of the Getty family are buried here. So, where are the male descendants? Were they not considered important? Well, voodoo is a matriarchic uh, religion, according to what Hartridge said in his lecture. So I guess that makes sense. Still no dice on the amulet, though. The block on the drawer has a name etched on it. Celeste Gede. Celeste? Wasn't she one of the winged people? Didn't we rescue her from some catacombs? And still nothing. The block on the drawer has a name etched on it. Tisila Gede. Well, no sign of Tetelo or the talisman. Nor is there any more empty drawer. So where was that person who took Mosley's body's hiding? There must be a secret compartment here somewhere, I guess. But I do not know where it is, nor do I feel like spending half an hour looking for it. As for the talisman, if it was here, it's not here anymore. Maybe the person who uh, knocked us out also took the talisman with them. In which case, we're out of luck. For now, let's get out of here. I'm done hanging around in the dark inside a crypt. Well... That was kind of a shock. Mostly dead! Well, we'll have to continue in the next video.